What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews and check this out. This is Makita's top hammer drill from their LXT line and the XGT line. So these two drills are, this is going to be the GPH-01 from XGT, that 40 volt line. This is the Makita XPH-14, the current generation from the LXT line. Now, there's been a lot of reviews on these so far. Um, these have been out for almost a year now, if not a little bit longer. Um, I was waiting to pick up the XGT purely just because I wanted to find a better deal on it. Um, it's been about $450 in the kit, um, with an impact driver, two batteries, and a charger. I was waiting for it to come down, of course, in price. I think that's just a way too high of a price for it. So I finally got it right now on sale at Home Depot. When you return the free battery, it comes up to $222. So finally, a great deal on this hammer drill. I've been wanting to upgrade from the not really so old <laughs> current LXT drill that I have right here. Um, I use this one pretty frequently, keep it really in good shape but I really want to try out the new XGT one. However, one of the reasons why I didn't really want to upgrade right away is because they both are rated for the exact same torque specs. But what was odd though was I found that in some reviews, this was easily beating the LXT version, even though they have the exact same torque rating. Kind of odd. But if you really think about what Makita is trying to do with the new XGT line, it may have the same torque specs, but the XGT batteries and that 40 volt line can just keep that sustained power under load, you know, that power going out a lot better than say the older LXT batteries at only 18 volts. When you increase the voltage, it gives a better power flow and keeps the tool and battery running cooler. So there is some, of course, some advantages there. You also get the latest motors from Makita. So let's jump right into this, guys, and see what's, which one is best. All right, so my first concern I had was when I went to XGT, you know, of course, buying a tool like a drill in XGT, is it gonna be a lot bigger? That was one of my biggest concerns here. So let's see which one is bigger. I will say, using the XGT drill, it doesn't really feel that much bigger really in any way. Um, if anything, the head is actually a little bit more compact than the X LXT one. So one thing I thought that made that a little strange about it being um, thinner is that it's actually a little bit taller as well too. Um, let's see here with height, it looks like XGT is just under 11 inches. I'd say maybe 10 and maybe five eighths of an inch in height, while the LXT one is maybe 10 and a quarter. So we're talking just a small difference there. Um, if we compare the head size here of these, so the XGT at its widest point, which is gonna be these two bumpers right here, is gonna be right at 2.58 inches there. And let's compare that to the LXT, which, yeah, just ever so slightly wider at 2.60. So not a huge difference there. 0.2, but even looking at these side by side, um, you can tell the LXT is, I know this one's got the squared off in the back here, but in person, the LXT just looks a little bit chunkier on the side here, where the LXGT has a bit more of a tapering to it on the top here. You can kind of see that a little bit better from a top view here. Um, let's see which one is longer. I believe the LXT one is gonna be the slightly shorter one. LXT is coming in at just slightly under seven and a quarter. Whereas the XGT one is going to be coming in, um, yeah, right at, I'd say right at seven and a quarter, under a little bit, maybe just ever, maybe a hair longer than the LXT drill there. So let me put these back to back here, see if we can get a good view from the top. Yeah, actually, they are very, very close. Maybe the XGT is ever so slightly shorter there, but very, very close. That's what's surprising about these drills. I did not expect the XGT drill to be that close to the LXT drill um, when it comes to overall size. So let's try out weight now. Um, from using them both, they feel about the same weight. I would say the XGT one is ever so slightly heavier. Let's see here, 
five pounds, 4.2 ounces with the battery. Now these batteries are basically the identical batteries to compare against. 40 volt at 2.5 amp hour is gonna be 90 watt hours. 5 amp hour at 18 volt is also 90 watt hours. So let's see what the LXT weighs here. Five pounds, 0.6 ounces. We're talking just a couple of ounces difference here with the XGT weighing ever so slightly more. So these drills are very, very similar when you get them together like this. There's not a huge amount of difference in size, weight. They are super similar, which is good to know. If you're looking to upgrade from LXT, you wanna make the jump into XGT, you're worried about size and compactness. Really, there's not much to worry about here at all. I will say when it comes to some of the details that Makita has, they added that kind of a darker gray metal on the XGT, which I think looks really cool. Um, nothing wrong with the LXT style or color here, um, but the new XGT stuff has a really cool look to it, um, which is quite neat. Um, one thing I've noticed that the XG or the LXT one does not do is <clears throat> if you unscrew the chuck all the way, it goes in this kind of locking mode and you'll hear it when it kind of does a clicking. Kind of sounds like something's wrong in there, but it's not. All you have to do is unclick it, and then I then you can do it like normal now. So kind of odd that that's you know doing that. I've never seen a drill do that before. So I don't know if that's you know I think that's a feature. Of course, it kind of makes sense. It's basically a locking mode of that chuck, um, but it just, just seems something different. You know, it's not what I've usually seen. Um, one of the biggest differences in these two drills is going to be, of course, the um, clutches. So we have um, on the uh, LXT, we've got an adjustable clutch here, so I can um, change it manually through whatever I want. So if I go over to one here, now I've got that, and if I close that, it'll then stop the drill from rotating. However, though, the XGT has now a electronic clutch, which I believe is the first for any tool that has that. Um, if we, it actually stays inactive. You can't see it until you turn it into basically screw mode. When you turn that into screw mode, then it lights up down there. You hit unlock, and then now you can make adjustments to the clutch there. So hitting lock again, you are good to go. I'll put it in clutch speed one here, and let's see it work. Basically what it does is it just entirely stops moving. So I hold in my hand here. See, I can pull the trigger again, and it just won't do anything. So it's an entirely electronic clutch and it entirely stops the drill from moving, which is kind of interesting. Um, I really want to test this feature out on a real job site for a couple of weeks before I really comment on that feature, see how well it works myself. But let's compare these two drills with a spade bit. I'm gonna use a inch and a quarter spade bit. I'm gonna do three holes with each drill and we'll see how what the speed works there. All right, so we're gonna be in just regular drill mode. I've got the five amp hour fully charged battery on here. We're gonna make three passes with each drill and I'm gonna be in speed two on each drill as well. So let's see how fast we can do this. Same exact setup as the LXT Speed 2 in drill. Got a fully charged 2.5 amp hour XGT battery. We're gonna do three holes. Let's see how it does. All right, so both the drills did a fantastic job. I don't know the times just yet. I think the XGT felt slightly faster. I will say when you use the XGT, doing a, you know, a pretty heavy load like that, driving that big of a spade bit, um, I can definitely feel the XGT not struggle under load. It seems like it's got a lot of power in reserve. Whereas the LXT, when you kind of got down in that hole a bit deeper, you could feel it slightly start to struggle. Um, that's the biggest difference I've seen from watching you know, other reviews and a couple tests myself. 
trying out the new XGT. So is it a night and day difference between the LXT? I don't think so, but I think it definitely is an upgrade. Um, I think when we start seeing, you know, generation two, generation three, and so on of these new XGT drills, they're gonna utilize a lot of that XGT power. Um, there's so much power on those batteries now. It's just incredible how much is just there for use with a lot of these newer tools. So, you know, is it worth the upgrade? Well, for $222, getting the new kit right now with the impact driver, two batteries and a charger, I think it honestly is. That's actually a fantastic deal. Considering that a lot of these top end kits go for $400 plus. You know, in the holidays, they have that $400 deal where you also can get a couple of free tools at times. So right now for 200 bucks or so, it's honestly a great deal. Now, if you already have, you know, the latest LXT hammer drill, um, is it worth an upgrade? Eh, maybe, maybe not, depending on if you know you love always having the best quality power tools with the most amount of power. I think it definitely is a worth upgrade, but you're not really gonna see you know, a massive difference in these two tools. So, you know, in conclusion, I think Makita is doing an awesome, you know, new stuff right now with XGT. Um, of course, the pricing is definitely up there, but it's definitely the new generation of tools. And I think it's well worth the purchase right now at the current pricing. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.